You've checked out Kinesis and decide that it provides a cost-effective means of buying and selling bullion, insured free storage, several ways to earn a yield on your funds, and the ability to transfer funds globally in seconds with the flexibility of a linked local bank account and debit card. Additionally, you want a superior way of securing your savings, which will also cater to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptos. Using the Cool Wallet S alongside the KMS, this video will show you how to add a KVT as a custom token, send to and receive from other Kinesis accounts, and we'll use some of the Cool Wallet S settings. To add KVTs to your wallet, click on the three dots icon in the top right to add a coin. Then click the plus sign symbol, then add custom token. Then scan the following QR code, which is the ERC20 contract specification for KVT. Check that the contract address has been displayed in the app and matches the address on the screen now. Any other coins can be added using the three dots icon. Also, if you want to move a coin within the list on the wallet screen, simply long press it and drag it to where you want it to be in the sequence. SLIP0010 or BIP44, which do you choose for Kinesis coins? You'll notice that the Kinesis coins show two different addresses. One is SLIP0010, the other is BIP44. Always use SLIP0010. The Kinesis wallets at kms.kinesis.money and wallet.kinesis.money both use SLIP0010 addresses. If your Cool Wallet S gets damaged or is lost and you need access to your funds quickly, then if you use the SLIP0010 address, you will be able to recover your seeds to one of the Kinesis software wallets and access your funds. If you use the BIP44 address, you'll be able to recover the seeds, but as the generated addresses will be different, you won't be able to access the funds. And remember, recovering your Cool Wallet seed phrase to an online software wallet will dilute the level of security, so only do this in an emergency. To receive a payment, click on Receive. The coin that is at the top of the list will be displayed. If you want to change to another coin, click the coin name at the top right and choose which coin you want to receive. If a payment is going to be made to your wallet from a different phone, you can just scan the displayed QR code from the other phone. The Kinesis mobile app has a QR scan feature in its send function. If you want to send to your Cool Wallet from the Kinesis mobile app on the same phone, you'll need to copy the text address, switch to the Kinesis mobile app, and paste it into the send function. There is a copy button in the Cool Wallet app, which is in the red square on the screen. When you're ready to paste in the other app, just long press in the field you want to paste, and when you release, you should see Paste as an option. Remember to use only the SLIP0010 address. If you want to send to your Cool Wallet from the Kinesis web app on a desktop, you'll need to copy the text address and then transfer it to a desktop. 
This could be done by pasting it into an email on the phone, or I've used saved messages in Telegram for this purpose. To send, click on Send. You can choose which coin in the same way as the Receive screen. There is a scanner icon, which will allow you to capture the target address by scanning a QR code. If you want to send to your Kinesis Money account, log into that account on a different phone or on a desktop to the web app. Then click on Receive for the relevant coin. That will display a QR code, which you can scan with the CoolBidX app. Once you have any transactions, you can see them all under History. Finally, the settings. You can explore these yourself, but I'll cover some of the key options. We have already covered the Reset Card option. This is useful if you want to test the recovery process, or you want to switch between different wallets that you've set up but only have a single card. PIN code allows you to set a PIN for this app. You should at the very least have a PIN or biometric lock for access to the phone. Ideally, you should also set a PIN code for this app. Just be aware that if you forget it, you will need to recover your wallet from your seed. Given that you've tested this process, it's not a big issue but more of an inconvenience. If you have a biometric lock, example fingerprint, set up on the phone, then this will be prompted for within the CoolBitX app when you click Confirm for a Send transaction. It is possible to share a Cool Wallet card with up to three phones. In order to do this, you'll need to get permission from the first phone that was paired with the card. This is given by using the show pairing password on the first phone and entering it in on the other phone. If you have two Cool Wallet cards that you want to use on the same phone, they cannot both be active at the same time. You have to use the Remove Account option to remove the first one, then connect the other card. This does not require the cards to be recovered from the seed phrase.